You know, there were rumors <laughs> that maybe there was somebody was going to die. Okay. <laughs> so we're like, who's going to die? <laughs> you know, but when I heard it was that I was going to kill Miguel, I, you know, I was obviously, I don't know, you know, I was so in the character at that time in Harley that I felt like, okay, how, how, how am I going to get that far? Where, how is she going to cross that line? You know, so for me, it was, it was actually a tough thing to read. I was like, okay. All right, so she's been writing this line of trying not to get, you know, trying to save her family and her friends and her crew and all the people that she was loyal to, and now, you know, and doing some questionable things, and and now she's gonna really cross a line, which we thought Jack and I have talked about a lot, even now for the second season, like where what happens now, mm -hmm. you know, where does this go? So it was actually scary for me, I think, a little bit. And was this part of the master plan, Jack, as you were mapping out the entire season that it was going to end like that? Or was it something that you and the writers arrived at partway through the process? Not halfway through, but partway through. Um, we came up with the idea of uh, Miguel and wanted to tell her backstory because we were interested in how Harley first took that first step toward corruption mm -hmm. and explained, I mean, really exploring um, this relationship. And, and it was Wozniak that came to her aid, and, and it was their original sin, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And so it seemed natural when that partnership is put into crisis that it, a unintended consequence of it is that it would reignite um, the, the whole Miguel storyline. And once we started developing it, and we're, the whole show really became a psychological thriller, and it just seemed inevitable that this, she was going to have to face this Harley you know, the survivor was going to have to ultimately come to terms. Or sign me up, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was great, man. It was amazing. It was, I'm, I'm, I've been lucky enough to be on a lot of great TV shows, great cast, and I couldn't be more proud of this one. And I love the story. And I don't, the performances were hands down some of the best performances. I just like the fact of playing a bisexual cop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I've played bad cops before, but not bad by cops. <laughs> so, and it's it's all about the writing. It's always about the writing, every everything. Uh, and then I went, and I wasn't sure exactly what the show was going to be, so I went and had a couple of meetings with Jack, and then. I saw how they were plotting out the whole season. I said, oh, wow, it's, it's, it's a very complicated thing. That's what's great about doing 13 episodes and doing television now at this great, great period of time. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, in this day and age, there's so, it's so hard to shock us as viewers with anything these days, because you read about it and there's spoilers everywhere. Episode three, when you kiss Donnie, I literally took my phone out and took a picture of myself because I wanted to see what I looked like with my jaw. But that, that is a fact. <laughs> Were you told that was going to happen when you talked to Jack and the other creators of the show, or did you read that on the page? No, I asked to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> One really good important thing though, the next time I know I'm gonna be kissing a girl is no stubble because it hurts. I'm sure you have an incredible wealth of choices and opportunities and people coming at you wanting you to do this or that. What made you to what made you decide to do a major network? Serious at this point. It wasn't in my plans. I, I, you know, this this script came to me via my producing partner, uh, Lane Goldsmith Thomas, as a producer. She's like, produce this with me, do this with me, and you know, she was actually telling me about it at my house one day, and I was, and I just started riffing with her right away. I just had a, a take on it, um, and I understood it immediately. And so she was like, you should do this with me. She bought me on. Um, we, kept with the script, we then met with Jack, everybody, you know, things started coming together. And then when we pitched it to 
the network, the NBC, we were in the room, and it's not that I hadn't thought, because it was such a great role, Harley was such a great role, and maybe she had a plan the whole time, Elaine, now that you guys know Elaine, maybe she had a plan the whole time, but she didn't say anything about it, and uh, I, it's not that I didn't imagine myself in the role, because it was a great role, but when we were in the room, it was actually Bob Greenblatt who said to me, he was like, you have to, you have to play this role, and I was like, <laughs> you know, because I had done television, and I had done television early in my career, and I knew how demanding it was, and, but I also knew how demanding my schedule is now with all the things that I do, and I thought, there's no way I can take on a, a third or fourth full-time job. I just can't do it. But again, the drive of the artist in me was like, yes, I do have to play this role. <laughs> I do! I mean, the truth is, Great roles for women, they are few and far between. They are not easy to find. So you say, oh, I have this abundance of things coming at me. No, I have a lot of opportunities, and I'm very blessed in the, in the sense that I, I work a lot. But really great things, they're, they're, they're rare. And this was a really great thing. Was Harley Latina originally, or did she become Latina? She was not. No, she was not. She was Harley something or another. Some generic sort of thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, it wasn't, we didn't have a corn. But I remember it was just white. Right. You know, like, <laughs> it didn't feel like she had, like, you know, giant, you know, she didn't have any other thing going on. <laughs> Her name was Charlie, oh, to be no. like, <laughs> That changed too. The first meeting, I was like, that. Yeah. Can we change Shirley? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Can we change Shirley? <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. Dial, for you, it's, I mean, <laughs> so it was not a singing, dancing set. Right. <laughs> well, for the audience, too, that's the fun of it, is just to see the main thing. Right? That's terrible. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> 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 but I'm interested in what you were saying. Did you have protection? Well, he wasn't packing. Protection! <laughs> no! 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 Oh, man. Suffering for his heart. So, I mean, but I can only imagine when you shot that stuff, you must have thought, there's no way this is going to make it, right? Totally. Right. And then they said, if, it, if, it's, if it's on there, then there's a centers of Reddit, oh. and that, that it can happen. So, yeah, but I still felt like they'd, some, Once they, see they would it, flag they it. All that. And, but they didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what did you guys shoot or to try to get by or didn't you get by? And even with her relationship with Stahl, played by Warren Cole, um, you know, there's all of this where he's saying that she's, you know, abused by Waz and under his thumb in that way. And it, it, it becomes a whole thing of her examining herself, trying to grow, trying to get better every day, but still stuck in the root of being abused and held down and scared and frightened for your life. And that's why I think at the end of the day when she snaps his neck, it's almost like the audience is with her in that moment yes, because yes. she will always be, as long as he exists, that person who she was at that time. Mm -hmm. and, and so you want to see her move, you want to <clears throat> see her grow, you want to see her get to some other level, not necessarily in that sense, but as in, in this world, it's just, you know, Anybody who's been in that situation understands what that torment is like.